Good evening and welcome to the first Cardinal Sports Live web show of the year. I am your host, Kyle Riggles. Along with me tonight are Anne-Marie Toller and Zach Davis. Guys, how are we doing tonight? I'm good. I'm kind of struggling with this weather change, but I'm mm. ready for, you know, this semester to get going. Yeah, I had to turn on the heat for the first time today, so I don't know. We'll see if I can make it. <laughs> Definitely not fun with the cold. <laughs> well, it's not the start to the women's volleyball season that they wanted this year. They're, uh, after sharing the MAC title last year, the Cardinals are 8-8 eight and eight this year. The start of MAC play well last week with two straight wins. Guys, what do the Cardinals need to do to continue to pick these wins up? I think, you know, we have seen those Cardinal girls struggle. You know, they have come out really slow, but they have finished strong. So they just need to finish strong and, you know, just come out with that confidence that they've had. They had a great last two games, and you know what? They kind of picked it up at the end and got their stride in. And so they just need to continue to do that to come away with a win. Yeah, you're right. They have picked it up the last two games. Um, I think what they need to look to is veteran leadership, and I think one of those veterans I want to mention is Kelly Hopkins. Now, Kelly has 62 total blocks right now, um, and I think all of last season um, she may have had, uh, what, 64? So we're halfway through the season, um, and she's playing well as that middle blocker. Uh, you like to see them lean on those veterans like Kelly. Well, the Cardinals will be home this weekend as they will take on the conference rival Northern Illinois along with Western Michigan. After starting out 2-0 and in the MAC Conference last week, do you guys see the, uh, the Cardinals getting some wins this weekend? Well, I do. I see two wins coming out this weekend. Now you look at Northern Illinois, and they're 6-8. and eight. Uh, You look at Western Michigan, they're 5-12. and 12, uh, Two teams that are not, I mean, they're both under 500. Um, now Ball State's 8-8. Eight and eight. They're not perfect by any means. But these are two wins they can definitely get, especially because they're at home. Um, and they're, they're uh, undefeated at home, 4-0. Uh, and they're 2-0 and in their last two games. So maybe they can pull these out and be on that four-game win streak. We'll see what Shondell can make them do. I have to agree with Zach. I think, you know, they play well at home. They've shown that they can play well at home. And then being at home this weekend will definitely help them. You know, they kind of they have, are coming off a two-game winning streak, and I think being at home will definitely help them. Um, these girls just need to come out and play strong and, you know, just really um, bring it together here at home. Well, Ball State is currently in second place in the, west, in the west side of the MAC and are tied with North Illinois. Do you guys see Ball State moving up in the MAC rankings as the season goes on, or do you see them maybe slipping down a little bit? I think I see them moving up in this. You know, they they're right now they're two and zero with their MAC conference play, and I think that they can definitely move up from here. I think you know. Being 8-8, eight and eight, they're kind of hitting their stride. I think now they're at the point in their season where it's like we have to get it together or we're not going to be where we wanted to be like we were at the end of the season last year. So I think, you know, they're realizing that it's a make-or-break time right now, and I think they're definitely getting it together and proving that they're going to be the team that they want to be. You know, I'm going to agree. Um, I'm going to be optimistic here. It's homecoming week. Why not? You know, this team's 2-0 and in their last two. If they can be 2-0 and this weekend, maybe they can be 4-0. and um, And then they have four away games. Uh, and then four home games in that order, um, all MAC play. So if they can get on a little streak, um, maybe get some consistency, play through the whole game, play well the whole game, um, maybe this team can do it. You know, I'd put them probably third in this conference right now uh, between, be behind uh, Ohio and Miami. So they're not out of the woods yet, but they can do it. All right, well, after the weekend, the Cardinals will be on the road for the next two weeks, playing four straight games away, one of those against an Ohio team, which is looking very well this year. Guys, what do the Cardinals need to do so that they can keep getting these wins in the MAC Conference? I think um, just kind of they need to, again, come out and, you know, play strong. You know, we have, you know, team leaders that are coming up. We didn't lose any seniors last year, and we had those seniors – those juniors that moved to seniors this year, and we just need that leadership from them to get this team to come together. I think, you know, it really kind of depends on how they play this weekend. They're coming off two great wins, and if they can play well this weekend and come away with two wins, and it'll give them that confidence they need to, you know, come up on these road games and really play their best. Yeah, well, uh, I think, again, they need to lean on the veterans. Um, and another veteran I want to mention is Jenna Spedafora. Now, Jenna, after their game against, uh, what was it? It was uh, Toledo. Um, Jenna, they were down 0-2 in sets, and Jenna brought them back, um, and they went 3-2. and two. Now, I say Jenna brought them back because that's what Shondell said. Now, Steve Shondell said during that game she was the leader. She brought the team together in that huddle, and she brought that consistency in, and it really, they took off after that. So, hopefully she can lead the team. Yeah, hopefully the Ball State volleyball team can definitely pick up some mm -hmm. more wins moving forward, raise up out of that 8-8 eight eight seed. 
So, well, that's going to do it for another episode of Cardinal Sports Live here. For Anne Marie Toller and Zach Davis, I'm Kyle Riggles. Have a great night. Thank you for watching. And remember, we are Ball State Sports.